Delaware one. Making our approach to number one. Um, when you get like halfway across the bay, you notice there's the other commercial traffic. Is that always something you got to be mindful of? I see tankers and freighters and stuff like that. Or yes, we yeah. always watch other traffic. It's called uh, systematic radar observation. Even if we can see them visually, which we can't always, but we watch them on radar. We do systematic plots on them to ensure we're not going to get close together. If we are going to get close, we call them on the radar or call them on the radio and either we alter course and or speed or they do. Usually we do because it's a little easier for us because we're more maneuverable uh, than larger ships. Uh, if we put the cursor on, uh, we're making 10.9 knots. This gives us all the, all the things we have to learn in radar school, all the collision avoidance it's information that's right here. The closest we're going to get to him is 1.4 nautical miles. We don't have to worry about getting too close. So we press it again. We get the AIS information, automatic identification signal, and the name of the vessel is the Blue Fin. And it's going to Fallsboro, New Jersey. And we're only on a three mile range. This is this is only three miles to the right of us. I see. Right there. So that's all these boats right here. I guess it's a lot worse in the summer. Uh, actually, it used to, but actually now, striper season is the busiest time of year oh, yeah. that we have here. Uh, people just go crazy when we're catching stripers. And you see, that's an outline of the tip of Cape May, right there. We'll go up in range, we're going to go up to 12 miles. Okay, now you can see Cape May Point. This is the shipping channel right here. This is the tip of Cape Henlopen, right there. We have an inbound ship right here. It's, he's right up here ahead of, ahead of us to the left. Looks like he's going to pass ahead of us. These are ships in the anchorage. Like I said, shipping channel. These are buoys and lighthouses. Just show me what route you usually, what, what do you shoot for when you're coming across? Well, we, we shoot for because we go into Right off this wall of rocks, there's a pile of rocks over here called the icebreakers. There's a hole in between them. We go right in there. Uh, it's, it's actually easy. It's easier to back into Lewis than it is to pull straight into here. Uh, just because it, you know, you're in an area that's all sheltered. There's no tide, per se, or there are no current. Uh, it's easy. What he did there, he shifted all his control out to the starboard wing. Oh, I see. Yeah. He gets out there, there's a, there's a button, an accept button there. Oh, so I all see. his control he have here is out there now. He can walk out there.